Four for the national championship. Ooh. This is big league stuff. For the second straight year, a team of Southwest Florida youngsters is going to go after a national Pop Warner football championship. Just like the Port Charlotte Warriors last year, the Fort Myers Junior Pee Wee Firecracker Rebels have turned the world upside down. They're going to play for it all a week from Saturday in Jacksonville. Now, the Rebels are 14-0, but they were also picked for this game on the basis of their strong academics. Rebs coach Kenny Green says to play on his team, you have to use your head for more than just a place to put your helmet. One of the criteria to get to the Nationals is that your team has to have a good grade point average. And these guys are good in the classroom as well as on the field. So, uh, and we preach that. You know, if you, if you can't get the grades, you can't play out here. And the Rebels will meet Redwood, California for the title. Here's hoping they chop them guys down to size. Good luck to the Rebels. Well, Notre Dame didn't waste any time squelching those Lou Holtz to the Vikings rumors. They signed Holtz to a new five-year contract extension today that'll keep him coaching the Fighting Irish through 1996, Notre Dame plays Florida in the Sugar Bowl on New Year's Day. The Washington Huskies may or may not be the number one team of college football, but junior tackle Steve Emptman is the number one lineman in the land. Tonight in Houston, he won the Lombardi Award, beating out three other finalists, including Florida State's Marvin Jones, and you can rest assured, Emptman won't take his award for granted. Well, Mike Greenwell may be on the trading block, but today he went under the knife. The Red Sox all-star outfielder from North Fort Myers had a small bone spur taken out of his right elbow. The Sox say he'll be completely recovered by spring training. You'll also be seeing Bobby Valentine at spring training with the Rangers. Today, Texas gave their manager and general manager Tom Grieve contract extensions through the 1993 season. The Rangers finished 91 in third place in the American League West. Now, the Pirates say they're going to make one more offer uh, to try to sign outfielder Barry Bonds. If they can't do it, they're going to try to trade him. Pittsburgh GM Larry Dowdy says he wants to talk to Bonds' agent at the winter meetings this weekend in Miami. Bonds can become a free agent after next season, and he can probably get even more than the $5.8 million his former teammate Bobby Bonilla is going to get from the Mets. Well, we're not used to seeing the Cavaliers ahead of the Pistons in the NBA standings, but better get used to it. Lenny Wilkins' guys beat Detroit tonight at the Palace. Mark Aguirre misses the layup here. The Cavs take it back the other way. And Winston Bennett will dish to Brad Doherty. The big guy had 25 to lead everybody. Down at the other end, Doherty returns the favor. Bennett misses, but Larry Nance is there for the jam. Cleveland won at 110 to 101. Also, the Nets beat the Bucks 109-101 and spoiled Frank Hamblin's debut as Milwaukee's new coach, and it was the Hawks 109, the Rockets 97. You can bet Georgetown's John Thompson is glad the ACC Big East Challenge is over. His Hoyas lost in overtime to Virginia tonight. Here, Junior Burrow gets two of his 21 off the turnover. Burrow's name may be Junior, but he's only a freshman and a good one. Time running out in regulation, 63-61 Virginia. Joey Brown hits the little jumper to tie it and send it to OT. That's where UVA won it. Brian Stith scored four of his 24 in the extra session to lead Virginia over 18th ranked Georgetown, 76-66. And UNLV now number 24, top James Madison tonight, 80-73. to And for only the fourth time in hockey history, a player has his father for a coach. Kevin and Bill Deneen teamed up for the Flyers tonight, but the Caps, they're not real sentimental. Watch. Kevin Hatcher just skate in for the goal here. That put Washington up 3-1, and after the Flyers cut it to 3-2, Peter Bondra came up with the steal, fed the puck ahead to Randy Burridge for one of his two goals. Final cap six, Flyers three. The Canadiens and Devils also won. The Nordiques and Bruins tied 2-2, and Riverdale beat Fort Myers in basketball. That's a big one. Fort Myers has all the kids playing football. Still a big win, and Laley beat Everglades in hoops as well. All right, thanks a lot, Ken.